You know, folks, you either accept the finished work at the cross or you reject it. I chose to accept it many, many years ago, and I want you to listen to a great song. Think about the words of it. It says, anchor to the power of the cross. Sing it, man. Winds and waves and rising tides have left you forlorn. You say your ship can't stand another storm, and the final wave seems near. Just anchor deep yes. to the solid rock. Let the captain handle your fears. Anchor to the message. Aren't, aren't you? Thank you, darling. <laughs> aren't you glad for the message in that song? Last night we were in Cleveland, Ohio, and there was a, a radio station there that was not a Christian station, and we were doing, um, they were doing interviews, and they came and grabbed Dean and myself, and the rest of them, I think, were eating, and he said, tell me what's so different about your kind of music. I said, in our music, the lyrics can change a life. I said, I don't know of any other music 
that the lyrics can touch and change a life like Southern gospel music. And I'm glad tonight for the cross and the power of the cross. Spoke with a lady not long ago, her husband and his first wife were not able to reconcile their marriage. They split up. The man walked away from my son. He had not seen him for 18 years. We were singing this next song in a church. There's a line in this song that says, go ask the child who has a dad to love away the hurt he had before this man called Jesus touched their lives. The man heard that line of this song and he determined in his heart right there that he was gonna go and find his son he had not seen for 18 years. And he began the search and through over two or three months, he was able to find out where his son was and he wrote his son a letter. And the son was really staying at the grandparents' home of his former wife. And so he wrote the letter and it just happened the grandparents were out of town. So when the postman brought the letter, the boy opened it, he got it out of the mailbox and he opened it and he began to read. And he began to read this letter from his dad. And uh, he called his dad, they set a time to meet and his dad was real nervous. He says, I don't know how he's gonna accept me or if he will accept me. And when he got to the meeting with his son, his son just threw his arms around his neck and he says, you don't know how long I've waited for this day to meet my dad.